Hey everyone, let's watch the top 5 biggest dog in the world. But before that please don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Number 5. The Scottish Deerhound. This giant breed was originally intended to hunt the Scottish roe deer. The breed was highly sought out by nobility. With its long, big boned legs and hound like structure, this strong and large dog can easily reach its prey having amazing speed. These dogs are quite tall, with a height of up to 32 inches and a weight of up to 110 pounds, for males. Scottish Deerhounds look like greyhounds but with coats. Their long tails hang to the ground, and they can have either black or blue noses. The coloring of the coat can be in various color combinations, and it is harsher and weary on the legs and body and softer at the head, belly, and the chest. An interesting fact is that the breed almost became instinct at one point in history when only aristocrats with high titles were allowed to own one, but the breed was successfully restored in the 18th and 19th centuries. Dogs from this large breed are very loyal, gentle, and affectionate dogs, and also very close to their families and friendly with strangers as well. One of the best features of the Scottish Deerhound is that it barks very little, which makes it a lovely quiet large dog suitable for a family pet. They do require long walks, but not too much extensive exercise. Number 4. The Commandor. The Commandor is a large dog, many are over 30 inches tall, making this one of the largest common breeds of dog. The body is covered by a heavy, matted, corded coat. The dogs have robust bodies, strongly muscled, with long legs and a short back, with the tails carried low. The body, seen sideways, forms a prone rectangle. The length of body is slightly longer than the height at the withers. The Commander was originally bred in Hungary and used for garden property and livestock. Today the breed has been declared a national treasure in its home country. The Commander's temperament is like that of most livestock garden dogs, it is calm and steady when things are normal, but in case of trouble, the dog will fearlessly defend its charges. It was bred to think and act independently and make decisions on its own. Keep in mind that they do bark quite a lot and can be quiet. Uncomfortable with strangers if not socialized and trained properly. Otherwise, commanders are very loyal pets and are strongly devoted to all family members, and are especially patient with children and family pets. Number 3. The Newfoundland. The Newfoundland is a large working dog. They can be either black, brown, gray, or white and black. It became part of the Confederation of Canada. Only black and land sir colored dogs were considered to be proper members of the breed. Unlike many of the other large canine breeds, the Newfoundland was bred as a fisherman work dog, and not a guard dog. These huge adorable dogs were used to assist fishermen on boats and good haul lines and nets, as well as jump in the water to save people or restore items that had fallen off the boat. The Newfoundland is an impressive, active water dog that can reach up to 200 pounds. The largest dog from this breed reportedly weighed 260 pounds. Undoubtedly, the Nupais are among the best swimmers among canines. They are, in fact, still used in search and rescue water operations. They are highly intelligent and gentle-natured dogs. They look even bigger than they actually are thanks to their thick double coat, which is meant to keep them safe and warm even in freezing waters. Newfoundlands are incredibly affectionate to their families and are exceptionally gentle and protective with feeds, which is why some people refer to them as gentle giants or dog nannies. They do require daily walks, exercise, and training, and it is advisable that you ensure a place where they can enjoy an occasional swim to keep them active and happy. Number 2. The English Mastiff. The Mastiff is one of the most ancient types of dog breeds. The heaviest dog from this massive breed named Zorba weighed a massive 343 pow. An average Mastiff can reach a height of 27, 30 inches and the shoulder and a weight of 130 to 220 pounds. Their ancestor, the Molossus, was known 5,000 years ago. Back then, they were ferocious war dogs, very different from the benevolent behemoth that the breed is today. Mastiffs are sometimes called Old English Mastiffs. 
Although this is a purebred dog, you may find them in shelters and rescues. Back in the Roman Empire, Caesar was so impressed by the Mastiff when he invaded Britain that he reportedly took back a few dogs back home where they were used in lion and gladiator fights. But today, the large-headed, huge Mastiff is mostly preferred as a loving and gentle family pet and companion. Dogs from this breed are also often used as therapy dogs, as well as for search and rescue, weight pulling, and tracking. It has a mellow, loyal, and even-tempered nature and is excellent for families with kids, who will enjoy playing with their gigantic friend. It needs to be with its people because long isolation can lead to destructive behavior and anxieties. Mastiffs will require daily walks, and a lot of training and attention if you want the entire family to feel happy. Number 1. Caucasian Shepherd The Caucasian Shepherd was first bred in the northern Caucasian area as a guardian dog. It reaches up to 30 inches at the shoulder and a weight of up to 130 pounds. And it is everything but a lap dog. It is a strong-boned and muscular dog that is fierce, fearless, and self-confident whenever there is a threat. It is a soft and kind-mannered pet that can get along very well with the entire family as well as with other pets. Caucasian Shepherds have been used for centuries for protecting properties, livestock from predators, even from bears, and other duties. Today, they're mostly used as watchdogs or companions. There are many variations of this breed. Two of the most popular ones are the mountain type with a long coat and the step type which have a smaller body mass and a short coat. Given its nature of always feeling the urge to protect its family, the Caucasian Shepherd Dog is definitely not a dog for first-time dog owners. It needs very serious training and socializing in order to prevent incidents of the dog attacking other people because it is protecting you. When properly trained to understand that all members of the household are before it in the pack, the Caucasian of Charka will become an immensely devoted, loyal, and loving member of your family. Do keep in mind that it is incredibly strong, so you shouldn't let children or elderly people walk the dog. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment and like. And don't forget to subscribe.